Hi, been a little while, I know. Uh, <laughs> yeah, things have been a little crazy over here with uh, my hard drive breaking and then having some other computer issues that I have finally been resolved, but there are still other issues that need to be resolved that are still going on. But for right now, uh, the computer is back up and running. So let's try to get back into the swing of things by talking about the photon burst. So, as you probably already know already, the Photon Burst Rifle is this, year, this year's prize for the first Contact Day event. And uh, originally it was uh, a weapon that was featured in the video game Star Trek Voyager Elite Forced, but Star Trek Online uh, has brought this over to their game, which uh, not the first time they've done something like that. There are other uh, items in the game that were from other uh, Star Trek games, like um, uh, the iMod set. The, the, iMod, the iMod itself is actually originally from the, uh, the Star Trek Voyager game, uh, the Star Trek Voyager Elite Force game, and the uh, Kodai fighters, those were originally from, uh, what was it, Star Trek Starfleet Command 2. Oh, and uh, the skin from uh, the Legendary to Derridex, that was originally from, uh, what was it called, Star Trek The Next Generation Final Unity. So yeah, the Star Trek, Star Trek line does have a history of taking things from other Star Trek games and putting them into stow because Paramount said they could and uh, I'm it you know so this is not the first time they've done that and uh, very much hoping very much hoping hoping man I, I've been gone for two weeks and I've forgotten how to do everything I'm very much hoping that uh, that this will certainly not be the last time they do such uh, a thing like this so anyway uh, the photon burst uh, it is a big honking rifle that shoots micro photon torpedoes which is uh, really funny for a ground weapon so I already have the rifle here on my account I bought out the event because I had missed so many days and you know it just seemed easier that way than to wait until because I had enough time to finish it but it would have been like the very last day so if anything went wrong I would have had to buy it out anyway and you know I wanted to do this just, you know, just to get it over with. So here we go. The uh, the Photon Burst Rifle, uh, I've got it already upgraded to maximum. So uh, Mark 15, Epic, all rerolled to Crit D, which fun fact, it's already uh, mostly rerolled to Crit D. So I had to do very little re-engineering on this. Anyway, uh, like we saw in the demonstration on 10.4 Weekly, uh, it has an it has an ammunition mechanic. It can hold up to six charges of these micro photon torpedoes. And as you fire them off, it will gradually uh, re rebuild these charges over time. However, the uh, the cooldown is a bit slow, so you don't want to rely on this as a primary weapon. So that's why you probably want to use this in your secondary slot and then rely on your primary weapon for most of your damage and then just use this for uh, quick bursts of spike damage with the uh, with the photon burst. However, what I was doing instead with this was see. Though, since this is already meant to be used as a secondary weapon, I figured I would throw this on a build that already puts the weapon in a secondary position. So I threw this onto my meta engineering ground build, which, you know, as you, you know, I already have a video on that. So you guys have probably seen that already. I'll link that up top, uh, make sure, if, you know, if you want to see that. But uh, what we're doing here is, so with this build, uh, this thing relies very much on spamming your kit modules. So like I've got a, uh, a spam bar here and it uh, well spam bar. I have it bound to my uh, my mouse. So I just spam this button and it just spawns a bunch of these. So there we go. So you're going to be spending most of your time uh, on ground spamming your kit modules. So there really isn't a lot of time to use your weapon with this build. But sometimes there are occasions where it is nice to have because, you know, sometimes sometimes something is very far out of range because most of these uh, kit modules are very uh, close range. And, you know, so you don't you know, you're not going to be able to run across a map to shoot a target every time. Uh, and sometimes, you know, they're just on cooldown because their cooldowns uh, are not instant. So you can't be able to repeatedly spam the same ability every time, you know, instantly. So sometimes you have, sometimes you want to fire off a weapon just to make sure something is dead as quickly as possible. And this uh, this photon burst is really nice for that, actually, because it does a decent amount of damage. It, it's not an amazing amount of damage. It's not as much as I was hoping, uh, especially against shielded targets, because this thing does deal kinetic damage. So it's actually rather weak against shields, but it does make it really nice in bug hunt because bug the bugs don't have shields. But even against shielded targets, it's not difficult to wear down shields, you know, you, especially, you know, with all these kit modules, you know, you can just spam a bunch of these um, 
even like the secondary explosions from the um, uh, the mines, just like the AOE damage that can wear down shields. And the other nice thing about uh, the photon burst weapon is that it also has an AOE burst, which is why it's kind of nice compared to some other weapons as a secondary for this type of build, because you have the potential to actually hit more than one target as long as everything's kind of clustered together. Actually, on this setup right here, uh, I left my old primary weapon uh, on here too, which is the uh, the phaser split beam uh, rifle special issue. It's the lower dex rifle uh, from the low buy store, just because I really like this gun. Uh, I left that one on here um, in you know thinking I would be mainly using this one and then uh, swapping to this every once in a while. But then you know, this you know that was kind of a dumb of me because this the uh, this ground build already puts the weapon secondary, so I barely used this. I didn't use this as at all during the testing I did, so I really I should have just kept this on the uh, on the cool weapon so I can keep the two piece. So that's what I should have done with this for this specific build. Uh, especially if for your build, you might want to do something different. You might want to keep two separate weapons if you're using a more weapon reliant build, especially if you're on something like a tactical character. Um, but yeah, uh, for this build, uh, keeping the split beam rifle was not necessary. I really should have swapped that uh, with the Nakul weapon to get that two piece with the shield. For the testing, uh, what I did was, uh, since I'm just using this as a secondary weapon, uh, what I did was I ran through an elite version of, what's that patrol called? Uh, the one on Jupiter Station. Jupiter Station Showdown. Yeah, uh, Jupiter, I ran through a couple of these on elite and uh, basically just kind of compared the damage between, uh, for this build, uh, using the photon burst, and then I did a few other runs using uh, the portable phaser cannon special issue, which uh, commonly known as the Shax cannon, because this is also an ideal weapon for, you know, a secondary slot uh, like this, because it deals a lot of damage, you don't have to use it all that much, and, you know, again, it's just, it's a, already a very popular weapon from the Lobi store, so it would be interesting to see how uh, this new photon burst compares to like I said, what is arguably one of the most popular and most powerful ground weapons in the game. So this was the run with the Photon Burst. As you can see, I did uh, 3.09K in uh, in that Jupiter Showdown, Jupiter Station Showdown, uh, which isn't bad, but we are here to look at specifically at the Photon Burst damage, which that did uh, about uh, 238, uh, 38 DPS. I almost said K. This is in space. They would not do K. Uh, 238 DPS, uh, from the Photon Burst. Uh, obviously most of the damage was coming from the pets because of how this build is. So, just using this as a secondary weapon, that really isn't bad because, I mean, that just puts it a little bit under the, uh, Cloaked Mine Barrier. Uh, then we'll let's look at some of the pet damage and compare that. Um... It puts it over the agony field, uh, puts it over the explosive drones. Uh, so yeah, like overall, just on its own, it's it's a pretty decent damage dealer, even just for using it uh, in what limited capacity you can use it because of, you know, you're obviously you're going to have a limited amount of uses because of the ammunition mechanic. Now we compare that to the Shax cannon and in that run I only did uh, 2.79k, so a little more, which is to be expected because the Shax cannon did less damage. Uh, it only did 195k, almost 96. But yeah, it's, I mean, the Shax Cannon clearly did less damage, and I'm guessing that's largely because the Shax Cannon is a single-shot weapon. You can get uh, multiple enemies hit at once with its secondary fire, but even then, that does still take some time to charge up, whereas the Photon Burst, that thing just fires off instantly. Even its secondary fire, which is, um, it's a kind of a homing torpedo, that'll just fire off instantly. The only issue with that one is it um, fires off at the closest target to you so there is some risk there in using that because the uh, the torpedoes it fires uh, if you're too close to them they will uh, knock you back so you don't want to risk hitting a knockback so you got to be careful with using that I also did a couple bug hunt elite runs and uh, here uh, here this is the one with the uh, portable phaser cannon and again that only did 150 DPS now compare that to this bug hunt elite in which I was using the photon burst and that the photon burst did over twice that at uh, 314 DPS, which, yeah, is a notable increase. And a lot of my other runs were fairly consistent with that. On this build, where the weapon is already m very much a secondary use, the, the the photon burst is beating the uh, the Shax cannon, and I imagine it would beat a lot of the other weapons for this, uh, a lot of similar reasons because 
The portable phaser cannon is a single target weapon. It uh, it does have an AOE secondary, but one secondaries do have a longer cooldown. And uh, the portable phaser cannons has a bit of a charge up time. And especially with the kit modules I'm using, stuff dies pretty quickly already. So you don't you don't always have time to build up those those charges. Now I get this is kind of a niche scenario. Not everyone's going to be running a build like this, especially because this is a very engineering specific build. You know, so tactical and science players are going to be using this a bit differently. But at the same time, it really does show that the photon burst works. And, you know, it, not only that it works, but it works in a very specific fashion. You're not supposed to rely on this as a primary weapon, which, again, we already kind of knew because of the preview we got on 10.4 Weekly. But, yeah, this is... It's a nice weapon. Uh, there are some things I would have liked to tweak on it, though. Now, there are three... I won't call them weaknesses, but there are three downsides to uh, the photon burst. Uh, one is the knockback. Uh, if you are too close to the detonation of the torpedo, it will knock you back as well as enemies, so that can be annoying. Uh, the kinetic damage is a bit of a mixed bag because uh, on the plus side, um, normal Borg cannot adapt to it. So, um, the uh, Mirror Universe Borg will be able to, but Prime, Prime Universe Borg, they will not be able to adapt to it. However, because it is kinetic damage, these will do less damage against shielded targets. So you are going, like I said earlier, you are going to want to be sure to try to wear down enemy shields either by using your other abilities or other weapons or by using um, other kit modules that specifically take down shields. The other is the secondary fire. And honestly, I'm not super impressed with the secondary fire because all it does is, you know, create a homing shot that will fire on the closest target to you, which really isn't all that useful when you consider the fact that you know, auto target is a thing. <laughs> you don't really need this. Like if you're running in shooter mode, yeah, this will probably be useful. But who who runs in shooter mode? This is where this is usually where uh, people go into the comments and tell me, I use shooter mode all the time. What are you talking about? And, uh, and I'm also not realizing uh, console has to use shooter mode. So, yeah, they'll, they'll probably be using that. But at the same time, in RPG mode, you know, which is kind of the default state for PC, the the homing mode the homing photon torpedo bursts or whatever it's called the uh, the secondary fire in this thing really has little use and if anything it's more of a detriment than anything else because it fires at the closest thing to you so if that closest thing to you is right next to you you're going to be unintentionally uh, giving yourself that knockback which is annoying um, the the big downside with it is that it does the same amount of damage as the primary shot so it's literally no different than the standard uh, primary shot from the photon burst. So you just fire it off and it'll do the same amount of kinetic damage. So the, really the only difference I would make for this is that I would just increase the damage on the, the homing attack because it's a secondary fire. It has a longer cooldown like most secondary attacks do. It needs to be worth the risk of, you know, possibly knocking yourself back. So really that's kind of the one change I would really like to see made. Um, well, maybe not the one change. I would like to see the cooldown of the charges reduced by a little bit. Not a lot, because, again, I get this is meant to be used as a secondary uh, weapon. But at the same time, uh, these things have, what is it, like 10 seconds? Two seconds per charge. So, yeah, 12 seconds to get back to uh, back to 100% if you fire the whole clip. So, I don't know. It'd be nice to see that reduced down to, like, 1.5. But, you know, at that point, I'm just being nitpicky. Um, would be nice, but I doubt that would ever happen. But really, the main thing I would like to see is uh, the damage increased on the homing attack just to make it actually worth using. Because as it is, it's just... I don't know. I'm not impressed with it. But that aside, the rest of the weapon I, I, I'm very much impressed with because it's it hits hard. It uh, it's, suits a niche need, so it's not going to be something you're going to be using all the time, but it is something that is nice to have. And granted, you know, given the fact that it is a uh, an event reward that is a lot unlocked on your whole account. So, uh, guys, if you haven't been doing the first contact day event, I would definitely consider buying this out because this is a nice weapon to have. I, I really do enjoy this. And plus, I, you know, I imagine this one's not going to be for everyone, but and the, the nostalgia factor for me, at least, uh, is really there because I, I spent many hours playing Star Trek Elite Force and its sequel, Elite Force 2. Uh, so seeing the photon burst uh, in Star Trek Online, it, it, it really makes me smile. So, yeah, that is the new photon burst rifle in action. Like I said, it's not going to be for everyone, but it certainly does have its uses and it is good at what it does. Uh, there are one or two things I would like to see changed, mainly that secondary fire. I really wish that uh, would get a bit of an extra power boost because it's it's just not worth using in its current state, especially on PC. Console players might get more use out of it because uh, or really anyone that's, you know, in shooter mode. But 
yeah in rpg mode it has it has no it has no point whatsoever but uh beyond that uh, I do like the weapon. Uh, I'm glad, you know, I'm glad I picked it up. I'm, <laughs> even though I did have to buy, I did have to buy it out because of all my computer issues. You know, I'm not upset about it because I like it. It's fun. It's, <laughs> you, know, you, you shoot the thing, it goes boom, you know, always fun. It really hits that base part of my brain that just really loves explosions. Before we wrap up, uh, I just wanted to let you guys know, um, uh, like I said earlier, uh, my computer was down for a while. If you get, you know, if you guys didn't know, uh, while swapping out some parts, my SSD got damaged. Uh, so uh, my friend Fragrance, he helped me uh, hook me up with a new one, uh, helped me clone the old drive onto the new drive. Uh, but there were some delays with that, uh, which were annoying but unavoidable but so, you know uh stuff happens anyway uh i am fully back up and operational now so uh hopefully things can start returning to normal here i just gotta get back into the swing of things and uh yeah hopefully this is the uh first step of that happening so yeah yeah i guess i don't know <laughs> i don't know this outro is already weird enough so um Anyway, uh, in the comments below, let me know what you think of the photon burst or anything else that's going on. Uh, and while you're down there, be sure to like and subscribe and hit that bell for notifications. Uh, do all the usual stuff to help support the channel. You know, share the video, visit the merch store, uh, use the uh, affiliate codes down below for either um, what's it called, the Epic Game Store, or for real merch. Uh, you know, if you're ever shopping in either of those locations, uh, those do help me out. Uh, and either way, though, thank you so much for watching. My name's Stu, and I will see you guys next time.